good afternoon. Uh, I'm talking on the anti-diabetic properties of the use of three spices. And as we are all familiar uh, with spices, so you all enjoy your lunch, didn't you? Because that lunch was made nice by so many of the spices and herbs that were included in it. So, spices are natural food additives that contribute significantly to the taste, flavor, and nutrition of food. Traditionally, they have also been used as medicine in most communities of the world. They have also been found to have potential pharmacological effects in liquid metabolism, diabetic control, digestive function, and as antioxidants. Many common spices are known to have properties that reduce blood sugar level and are ideal for patients who are diabetic. These three spices, garlic, ginger, and cayenne pepper, are very common dietary spices, which are also traditionally used for the treatment of various diseases, including diabetes in my chest. Now you want to ask, why the combination of the three? Oliherbalism is the combination of two or more herbs for the treatment of an ailment, and it's of current interest because such combinations enhance therapeutic action, reduce concentrations of single herbs, and balance the more powerful ingredients. They also act as buffer synergies, thereby reducing adverse effects. Clinic can be. Other therapies have been shown to improve blood glucose level, and this has led to the awareness of the fact that it is possible to lower blood sugar naturally. Various polyhabar formulations like damage, gas, linger, and so on are well known for their antidiabetic effects. Considering the reported anti of activities of garlic, ginger, and pepper, uh, we set out to evaluate the in vivo and the effects of this holy spice mixture at two doses of 200 milligrams and 500 milligrams. And we compared the effects with the then coming. Briefly, we estimated the blood glucose, the lipids, the hematological parameters, cellular to and marker enzymes. We also carried out a pathological evaluation of the kidney, the liver and pancreas of the articular parts and made statistical analysis where necessary. Our findings are presented as follows. The effect of diabetes on body weight is well known. As soon as that is set in, there is a decrease in weight of diabetic graph. If you look at that, uh, that graph there, this is the diabetic uh, graph. And on the third day, after the onset of diabetes, there is the reduction, and this continues until the seventh day. However, the administration of the spices, the green one is showing you at 200 milligrams, and this one is at 500. This is the standard bibenthamide. There was an improvement in the weight loss as this was uh, arrested. Rather than declining, there was a continual increase in the weight of the treated drugs. Organ weight. Relative liver, kidney, and pancreatic weights uh, were significantly higher in the active drugs compared to the control and spice treated drugs. And yes, the spice extracts at 500 mg, but the weight also showed effect equal to the event of mind in lowering the organ weights in some instances. For instance, with the pancreas, with the lung, and with the heart. 
the fasting blood glucose that runs a continual and sustained increase in the fasting blood glucose on, from the first day through to the seventh day of the diabetic rat. However, the combined size significantly reduced this blood glucose and uh, we attribute this to improve insulin sensitivity or inhibition of endogenous glucose production. And in addition, we assume that the, the antioxidants or the bioactive constituents of the spice mixture modulated various metabolic cascades which directly or indirectly lowered the level of glucose in the system. Dyslipidemia and hyperglycemia generally coexist in diabetic subjects, and these abnormalities of lipid metabolism are one of the most common complications of diabetes. We look at the total cholesterol was highly elevated in the diabetic brats. However, the spice extract significantly lowered the total cholesterol uh, content or level in the serum. This also applies to the total uh, triglycerides, the low density lipoprotein. However, the spice significantly increased the high density lipoprotein cholesterol of the treated bats. And this is advantageous in the sense that the high density lipoprotein, which is usually referred to as the good cholesterol, is a plus in this instance. We looked also at the hematological indices. Now, anemia is a common pathophysiology associated with the diabetes mellitus. And uh, we find here that all the reduced parameters attributed to diabetes were uh, elevated in, in spice treated animals. Diabetic mass showed a significant increase while the loss of harm, as, as shown here, and differential structures. And uh, this, compared to normal and spiced treated rats, we find that uh, it's an indication of impairment of hematological functions and could imply the presence of carotid at, at the sclerosis cardiovascular or cerebrovascular diseases. Some markers of cellular toxicity were also investigated. This includes total protein, uh, urea, retinine, and uh, these parameters would imply kidney impairment. However, these markers were significantly lowered with uh, the treated animals. The serum enzyme markers investigated, that is ALP, AST, and DGT, are sensitive indicators of to cellular damage. Their inhibitions in the active rats could be a response to hyperhydrocellulinemia or a reflection of diabetic hyperhydrocellulinemia. This was reduced by use of the spices, the spice, and the combined spice at 500 mg per kilogram body weight was found to be potent with lipenthamide, the standard drug. The histopathological changes of the kidney, so this is the normal kidney. We look at the Diabetic kidney, there is necrosis and damage, serious damage to the kidney of the rat. However, at 200, 500, 
there was a tendency towards reparation. This is for control, the eventualized control. See that the, there were reparative actions data, oh, uh, there were reparative actions by both spices at those doses. Changes in the liver. This is the normal liver. This is the diabetic liver. You find here deposits of fat. These white materials are all fatty deposits and the uh, degeneration of the liver was observed in the diabetic part and this could be the, the, the mitigation as seen especially at 500 mg per kilogram uh, is a sign that the spices have a parity effect on the, on the liver. Diabetic rats showed uh, pancreatic hyperplasia, necrosis, hemosclerosis, and degeneration. However, the use of the spices ameliorated this and they suppressed further damage to the pancreas. In conclusion, I want to say that the results of this study has revealed that a combination of garlic, ginger, and cayenne pepper in equal proportions has strong hypo hypoglycemic, hypoglycemic, and organ protective potential on allotan induced diabetic drugs. Organ administration of the combined spice modulated the body and organ waste of these animals and reduced hyperglycemia. The spice also attenuated blood and cellular toxicity parameters, prevent damage to the liver, kidney, and pancreatic tissues, and at 500 mg per kilogram body weight, the spice was equipotent with the dental Other studies are in progress to examine the mechanism of actions and clinical trials to validate the data. I want to acknowledge this funders, GRDC, GMRDC, MRC, and EPED. Thank you. Thank you.